Welcome back everyone to Cause Streams TV. I am Cause and we are done with week six of season four in Dragonflight. And as always, we're going to take a look at some of the things that we accomplished and did throughout the week. We will be opening our vault a little later in the video. But as the description shows, I have been significantly playing Mop Remix. In Mop Remix, I have continued to level my Cloak of Power currently on the DK. We are at 2470 strength and 18,000 stamina, 3300 crit, 3200 haste, 1300 leech, 3100 mastery, 1500 speed, and a lot of XP gain, which doesn't even matter at level 70. So that is where we're at with the DK. I've been working on the Paladin as well, but basically I have the power. The DK feels great, but I also have a problem. I really just want to play more Mop Remix. I am enjoying the grind. I am enjoying questing i am just enjoying everything about mop remix right now so what have we been consistently doing in Mop remix well first of all on my paladin i make sure to do all of his dailies so we do two scenarios because that maximizes the thread count we do two dungeons and then we also do at least one raid so i usually do mogashan vaults because it's quick and easy sometimes i'll do a couple and i'll try to do maybe like garage to get the bonus item in the event i want specific mogs then on the dk we repeat that process do all of our dailies do all of the dungeons and then do multiple raids so i'll usually start with mogashan i'll go to heart of fear we'll do uh siege of orgrimmar and terrace i try to avoid throw to thunder because i have had some pretty rough experiences in that raid so far so that is my main focus and even as i'm recording this video i haven't done my dailies yet because maintenance was extended and it is driving me insane i need to edit this video and i still want to do at least my dailies on both characters that's something i'm going to do right after and then i have raid tonight and, and then after raid i'll do some more editing but let's first jump into some of the things we've gotten in MOP. I have actually gotten uh, a fair amount of the transmogs. Some of the transmogs we have for, we focused on getting the ones for uh, rogues and priests and warlocks. Starting with the rogue, we've got the heroic throne of thunder set. And then we also have both the mythic and normal siege of Ogrimmar sets. And then for priests, we also got the heroic set from heart of fear and the Siege of Ogrimmar Mythic set. And since we got the Priest set, some of the other ones that came with that is the normal Heart of Fear for Warlocks, which is really cool. And also the Heroic Throne of Thunder, which is a really cool set. It's too bad I don't play more cloth clothies to enjoy these. And with that, there was also a few of the a few other plate sets we got, and we will continue to grab more transmogs using the Paladin's Daily Bronze Collection. After the mogs, we collected some mounts. And just quickly, I'm going to open up with some of the new mounts I got. Uh, so we did finish the Petrodax. This is the last color variant that we needed. So that is the last mount for 4,400. Yeah, and then, so with the Paladin, we're going to buy these last few we need. And then we still need this last 18k one, which we'll get today. And so here we have the two variants of the statue tiger type thing. And then the three variants for the goat type thing, the mountain goat. And one other mount we got from doing the Golden Lotus quest, which, which which completed one of the achievements, is the Astral Emperor's Serpent. It is the gold version of the Elegon mount. I think it's pretty cool, uh, but that is another one we got. And after collecting the remainder of the mounts, we then went on to just kind of play the game. Uh, I actually started working on some of the achievements, so I was doing the exploration. We were also working on starting some of the quest chains to work through all of basically the different stories. I've got some of the Jade Forest done. We did uh, the Reputation for the Golden Lotus, which is kind of cool because Reputation is uh, enhanced. So you get bonus rep for most of the things you do. And I did some of the exploration and work through more of the scenario stuff. So slowly we are just kind of changing up instead of just grinding out all the dungeons, we're doing a couple extra things as well in regards to questing and the campaign storylines. So week six was very heavily focused on playing Mop Remix. However, that does not mean we did not play retail. We're going to take a look at the Monk now, where on the Monk we did 
get a few bonuses, a little bit of IO. So let's take a quick look at that first. So first of all, we're going to take a look at his gear. Originally, I was running a 380, a 489 uh, season three ring because it was actually a DPS loss by about two to three K, no matter what other ring I would run. So we did pick up the seal of Phil duty, which we upgraded all the way to 535, which this is the DPS loss, but it does come with an absorb shield. So that was a great out increase. We also, from our Boolean, we ended up picking a Manic Grief Torch. And then I farmed out Algothar Academy because I needed the Platinum Star Ban. And one of the members in our party actually was kind enough to trade it to me. I wasn't the one that looted it. So this increased my DPS by 3,500 once again. So item level did go up just slightly. I think it was at 522 last week. We're at 524 this week. Week. and we did see some io increase we did a couple push keys yesterday and sunday at the end of the week we managed to time a 12 halls of infusion and a 12 brackenhide hollow and as well as a 10 algathar academy all in all that was a whopping 44 points moving us up to 2797 for to finish off the week and that's actually not bad this isn't a bad push week with tyrannical afflicted and bolstering it should be fully doable the monk felt really good doing the higher keys now that he has more defensives he has higher item level it is much easier to do those 12s hopefully we can start pushing up some 13s and 14s and higher again i need to stop playing mob remix to make that a reality but let's circle into opening his vault he will have three mythic raid slots and two mythic plus slots we're gonna open it as windwalker as always and let's take a look at what he gets this week we have a 525 waste which is an upgrade over what we have however we will be crafting our belt since it has well fed and we gives us our food buffs so we don't have to keep eating food after every pull 525 tier legs this would be an upgrade this would mainly just be a eye level upgrade. And we also have the amulet of ENR's chosen, which is a great crit increase, which I may sim to see if that's worth taking. We have the same neck piece we have now, but on the mythic track burst mastery. And then we also have mythic track shoulders that are not tier, but we already have tier mythic track shoulders. So the Amulet of Inar's Chosen is a 200 DPS loss. Custodian's Medallion is a 200 DPS gain. And then I also simmed Tuscar Bone Necklace because this is our crit verse necklace. And it is a 1300 DPS increase socketed when I socket it. And then I also send the legs, which is only a 700 DPS increase. So it sounds like my best option here would be to take the sockets and then socket up my ring and my belt and kind of carry on. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take the socket and the monk starts off with a 12 Neltheris. Terrible key. But we'll see how it goes. And next up, we have the Blood DK. I have tried to run Byrak to get the Legendary. I had no luck last week. I ran normal. It didn't drop. So I realized, actually I was informed, that when you do Byrak on different difficulties, the drop chance is actually different for each difficulty. So it increases with each higher level of Firak you kill. So for example, if I kill only do LFR, it takes a lot, a lot longer to get Firak at 100% versus normal or heroic. Heroic counts for normal and LFR. All I've been doing lately is a mix of LFR and normal. And unfortunately for me, that means I've probably extended my time to get Feralath the Lego. So I'm hoping this week I'm going to do a uh, Firak heroic skip. Considering that it is not awakened, it should be really easy to put a 20-man group together and just completely blow up the boss. So that's what I'm going to do on the DK. Uh, taking a quick look at some of his gear, no real upgrades. We did get Manic Grief Torch. I may have had that last week when we spoke. The primary update upgrade we got, because we have so many Booleans, is I did pick up an Ashkander. Um, and I still have three Booleans left. So I, if I do get the Lego, then I can still upgrade it. But for now... Might as well take my next best in slot item and take Ashkander. So I did get that on the DK. We ran four keys on him. It was just four eights just to get the vault. 
Uh, and I am hoping for, really on the DK, I'm hoping for anything. Anything is a anything that's a gear up upgrade, I would take. So let's take a look at what he gets in his vault. And no, there was no IO increases for the DK as I was only running 8s and 9s. Alright, so we have Mythic Track Shoulders, which we already have. And then we have a Mythic Track Waste Piece, which, I mean, is an increase. But I believe I have my Crafted Belt, which has Well Fed. Yeah, I do. So the goal would be to probably craft my belt again instead of taking this one. So I will take the sockets on here as well. Not a good week for Vault on either of my characters. And the DK also has a Nilferis. <laughs> so what is the plan for week seven? I will continue to play Mop Remix. I do want to farm out more of the mounts. I want to get my DK up to at least 500 plus eye level and see how he feels running through some of those raids. I think it'll get really easy. Eventually, I'd love to try Mythic Siege of Orgrimmar and see if I can work through that and get the Feet of Strength achievement. I think that'd be really cool. Another thing I'd like to circle back to in Mop Remix, I do still have the Warlock and the Priest I'd like to level. I haven't touched those yet as I've been very dedicated in working on the Pally for dailies and the DK for gear upgrades. And then on retail, it is a fairly decent push week. I know my team wants to try to push a little bit and it is tyrannical, so I don't see why not. Very easy week to deal with ads. Bosses are the biggest challenge. As a tank, I'm not too worried. Unless it's Nalteris, then I'm a little worried. So yeah, that is probably it. More, more Mop Remix, a little bit of retail push keys, and of course, I absolutely forgot, Beta is actually being released this week, so I do plan on hopping on the Beta. I have a few friends where we might do, uh, depending on what content is available, we may run some dungeons. I'm definitely going to do some questing, try out some new talent trees. Maybe I'll post a video too, just kind of walking through them and seeing how they feel. I am interested in the DK tree. They've made lots of changes, so I want to try it out and see how that feels. So yeah, beta is another thing I'm going to put some time into, which is going to be so hard considering all I want to do is play Mop Remix. Ugh, it's so bad. I have an addiction. I have a problem. I'm also still working on that video I told you guys I was working on a couple weeks ago. It is in the process. I'll get it out eventually with beta coming out. Maybe I'll get some more videos for beta out for you guys to, for, to review. We'll see. Um, I hope you all had a fantastic week. Good luck in your vaults. Good luck in everything you do in the game. And I hope to, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.